Brothers and sisters, welcome to the Midas Creek Bicentennial Celebration of Fireside. We are grateful for all of your submissions for this event, and especially all those that work so hard to put this together. Our hope is that you'll feel the Spirit as you contemplate the restoration and the many blessings it has brought into your life. We will begin with an opening prayer by President Stephan, and then proceed with the presentation. Our dear Heavenly Father, we're grateful for this opportunity we have to celebrate the restoration in our stake. We express our gratitude to the Heavenly Father for the restoration of the gospel of Jesus Christ on the earth. We express gratitude to thee for thy son and for his gift to us. We're grateful for the prophet Joseph Smith for his faith and his example. We're grateful for a living prophet today and ask thee to please continue to bless him and sustain him. Help us all to follow his counsel, to heed his direction that we might more fully serve thee and become closer to thee. We express our gratitude, Heavenly Father, and ask a blessing to be upon all those that have participated in this, in this event we're grateful for their contribution and for their service and ask that thou would please pour out an increased measure to them of blessings. We love thee, Heavenly Father. We dedicate this meeting unto thee in the sacred name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Okay. Go. verse 15 and it came to pass that there was no contention in the land because of the love of God which did dwell in the hearts of the people my life has been blessed by the restoration because it brings forth the truth of the gospel really all it is is truth it's all good things all true things come from Heavenly Father and Jesus Christ and I know that the restoration is true and that I, I'm blessed so much by it because I'm able to know and make spiritual action in, with the atonement of Jesus Christ. I'm so grateful.
we pondered the question of what our lives would be like without the restoration of the gospel, we came to the conclusion that there is absolutely nothing that would be the same in our life without the restoration. And on a specific note, we would not enjoy the deep ancestral heritage that we have or the beautiful family that we enjoy in this life. And also the expectation that we will enjoy them and each other for eternity. Darkness covered the earth, people were looking for truth, but it was taken away so long ago. God was preparing their hearts so he could light up the dark, cause it was time for a new beginning. There was a boy who needed answers, one that was chosen by God. So he went and found a place to pray. When he prayed, a pillar of light rested on him. The windows of heaven were opened again. They called him by name, chosen by God. He was part of a bigger plan. It all began with a pillar of light. first vision and the restoration either happened or it didn't happen. And fortunately for me, I've had many instances, many witnesses throughout my life that it actually did happen. And so I've been able to settle it out in my mind uh, that it did happen. I don't have to keep continually going back and wondering whether it did or whether it didn't. I've been able to settle that uh, in my heart and in my mind. And that's been a great blessing to me throughout my life. <laughs> Me. Mm -hmm. 
by the restored gospel because temple covenants have been restored, allowing me to be sealed to my husband and family so we can be together forever. Thank you. 
from the Midas Creek Third Ward, and we just wanted to share some of the ways that the restoration of the gospel has blessed our family. One of the ways the restoration has blessed our family is by giving us ancient scripture and teachings from modern day prophets to help us build personal relationships with our Savior, Jesus Christ. We've also been blessed by the priesthood being restored on the earth today. Through God's restored power and those with proper authority, we have access to sacred ordinances and covenants that will allow us to return to our Heavenly Father and be together forever if we are worthy. Joseph Smith went to a grove full of trees. Seeking God's wisdom, he fell to his knees. As he played with the heavens, the sky filled with light. And the Father appeared with his Son, Jesus Christ, standing above in the air. Coming to answer his prayer, I will find my own sacred grove. Lies full of pathways, but which should I take? If I lift up in prayer in the name of the Son, through the power of the Holy Ghost, answers will come. Heavenly Father is there, ready to answer my prayer. I will find my Sometimes the answers take time, so I'll listen with heart and mind. Revelation will come my way, as I wait patiently in faith. I will find my own sacred grove. July, my grandfather passed away. The months since have been a difficult time, but because of the restored gospel of Jesus Christ, we have felt peace and comfort. Through sacred covenants made at the temple, we know that we will be reunited with our family members eternally. Living in this world with change all around, but with the prophet's word.
Thank you. First, I just want to say thank you to all of those who participated in this bicentennial celebration from our stake. Um, I also, I want to thank the, the committee that was put together for this celebration and all the work that they've done. Um, the talent that is represented in this is amazing. And, and I recognize that it only represents a fraction of the talent within our stake. We, we are truly blessed. I would love to take this opportunity also to share my testimony of the restoration as we celebrate that uh, our Heavenly Father, God the Father and His Son, Jesus Christ, came to answer uh, Joseph's prayer. I love that ushering in uh, the restoration of all things. And, and now uh, we have this opportunity to participate in the gathering of Israel, which President Nelson, our dear prophet, has said, is the most important thing that we can be doing right now on the earth. It's the most important thing occurring on the earth this, this day. Uh, I, I loved all of the songs. I loved the testimonies that were shared, the, the words, the art. It all represents individual testimonies as we're unified together, um, bearing testimony that, that this is true, that this has happened, and that Christ will come. Uh, I especially love the invitation represented in one of the songs uh, for us to find our sacred grove. And if we take that invitation and then pray on our own to know the truth and to come unto Christ, what great blessings will occur in our lives. I testify that that's true and has occurred in my life. God answers and hears our prayers. Um, I love in the statement, um, the bicentennial, I can't remember, it's the bicentennial restoration statement that our, our prophet, President Nelson, shared, but it said that because of the restoration, the earth will never be the same as, um, as all things uh, come unto God and are unified in Christ. I'm grateful for that. I bear my witness that it is true and share that in the name of Jesus Christ, amen.